All right, happy December 1st. Why does my camera look so blurry? Um, day one of Vlogmas. Um, well, we did Thanksgiving. This is the real kickoff. Day one, it is Sunday, December 1st. I'm feeling so productive. I did new printables, Kroger ad preview, got ready for church this morning, um, and, and everything like that. So I feel actually really, really productive. Um, so now we're gonna go to church and then I'll let you guys know what happens after that. Check out that rainbow. Yeah. Okay, so it's like pouring down the rain, but it also it's like, like cold rain. I don't know. It's, it feels like hail, but I don't know. Um, I'm running in cover to get my newspapers. Um, and then I'm gonna go to CVS. And, um,. Probably Rite Aid too, because there's some clearance. And then actually, I think I'll come back here for the DiGiorno deal. So I came in in the pouring rain and there's no newspapers. They're out. They're literally out of papers. So now where do I go? I don't know. I might check a gas station or something on the way home, but they were cheaper here. So I like to get them here because they're only $1.25. Everywhere else is two. I just hope the other place actually has them. And I can't remember where I parked. <sighs> yeah. All right, so I think I'm gonna just try Moto Mart. Um, I'll pass it on Maple anyways, so that's what I'll do. Um, that's annoying, I wanted my newspapers at Kroger, but that's okay. So we got out of church, we went to lunch, and now we're back in town, and uh, that's what I'm doing. I don't usually do, I didn't used to do Sunday couponing, but I don't know, it's just kind of nice to get it out of the way with the drugstores, and during the week's kind of hectic with school and um, with regular work like I bought and stuff, so it's just easier to do the, the drugstores on Sundays, so that's what I'm going to do, but hopefully I can find the papers because I need the trust to make coupons to make this happen, so let's check them out at Mart. Just going to run in Walgreens for papers because it's literally, it's a lot easier to get into here, and I passed it for Kroger, so, because there's a light, so hopefully they have them, I'll just get them here. As you saw, that's a success. And I actually had a dollar a point. So I got it for cheaper. I paid $3 for two papers. Um, I would have paid even more at Moto Mart. So I'm glad I stopped at Wags. I forgot about Wags. So uh, yeah, that happened. I should really start couponing here more, but I don't know. So now we're gonna go to the drugstores. And I heard that there's a major clearance down at Rite Aid. I saw Michelle's for the Living um, did her Rite Aid video. Um, she got a bunch of stuff. And oh my gosh, the defrost is so loud. Uh, I was gonna look at my insert real quick with you guys because I haven't looked at it. I think it's just Unilever. It's a lot of junk ads. Oh, we got Snuggle coupons. I didn't realize we were getting Snuggle. Okay. Shea Moisture. Tresemme, that's the one I need. Axe, Polygrip. Ooh, Polygrip, those are good. Uh, not much in here, but I don't like to not buy it because it seems like the one time I don't buy papers is the time I need it. So let me go ahead and get my Tresemme coupons and I'm gonna head on in, or head on over to the wonderful CVS. See what I can snag over there. It's a good, Good week at CVS, and I'm planning on getting toilet paper, which is something we always, I, I'm trying. I didn't used to really, believe it or not, I didn't really coupon for toilet paper um, because we just bought it at Sam's Club because I thought that was the best price I could get it. But really, I've learned to realize that's not the case. Um, I've been getting it at CVS um, the last couple weeks and Walgreens over Black Friday, and I'm really excited because I've not paid hardly anything for toilet paper. Um, so CVS, will I lose extra care bucks? Absolutely, but I'm not losing real money. And that's kind of my philosophy lately. So yeah, we're gonna head over to the drugstores and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do a bunch of schoolwork because this is the week before finals. So it's gonna be intense. So that's that's coming. So yeah, now we're gonna head over to CVS. All right, so I paid like $2 out of pocket for all this stuff. Like I'm not even joking. For all this toilet paper, the Chex Mix, everything. I'll have an official haul up on the channel and you guys will have probably already seen it, but this is why it's stressful because it's a lot of, my calculations never seem to work correctly, but 
I'm, I'm thrilled with what I paid, so. Awesome time. Now we're gonna hit up Rite Aid, because um, I heard there's a lot of clearance stuff down there, so it's like five minutes from here, so why not? All right, so I'm in Rite Aid. None of the clearance is here. I was really hoping for that, but I'm still here, so we'll see. Maybe I'll find something. I know, this isn't a very good idea, but I'm gonna spend out some of my bonus cash. It's called a Northern 649. I do have a dollar load to cards. It's 549, I'm just gonna use bonus cash. I have 2450, I think that's a lot to have at one time. Plus there's a gift card deal going on down here. So I might go ahead and take advantage of that today. So this is my sad little ride at haul. I'm gonna get one of the vanity fairs that are gonna be 30 cents after gold discount and the quota Northern for 549. Like I said, I'm using bonus cash. It's not gonna really cost me anything, but I drove all the way down here, so I'm gonna get something. I decided not to do the gift card deal this week either. It's all good. Rite Aid was a fail. I paid $5. I'm just really upset. So I went back in because I saw um, somebody messaged me about the Shame Moisture, which is a great deal. However, I totally screwed it up um, because I wasn't thinking clearly. I didn't have enough bonus cash left, so I paid $4.94 for four of these Shea Moistures. I'm disappointed in one of these napkins. It did the bonus cash before my coupons, and I had a 50 cent coupon, well, it didn't take it off. I should've just like laughed after that. She wasn't sure what we could do, so we just tried returning it, and she, I don't know if she's new or what, but she didn't know how to return it, so she had to call somebody. I'm disappointed I paid $4.94, but whatever. I got like 20 bucks in bonus cash, and, done so it's done i i ended up paying like seven dollars today that includes four big packs of toilet paper i, I can't complain about that and i got more bonus because i have twenty dollars in rite aid now so it's okay i mean i hate paying five dollars for those bar soaps but these will be good um actually really good christmas gifts so i'll probably give some of those out i don't know it happened um so now we're just gonna head home i mean i might run in kroger to the du jour now I, I don't know maybe We'll see. Okay, so I just realized uh, two CRTs. Well, this one she did in my best interest, it looks like. This one, she didn't. She did not use my Hallmark CRT, which is really frustrating. And then they took it. And then my hair care CRT, too, they took. And it didn't get used. I, I don't even know. That was annoying. I I'm frustrated right now with what happened. But... I paid like under seven bucks out of pocket for all this, which is actually, the out of pocket is good. I just lost a lot of story. Wards and Rite Aid could have been less if I would have been thinking clearly, but I don't know. This is why the drugstores at this time of year always get me down. I start having problems and I get done and just go back to doing I bought it. And I want to keep up the drugstores. I feel like I can get things at the drugstores I can't really get with I bought it. Like Tresemme, I don't really get that with I bought it. Toilet paper, hardly ever with I bought it. Um, but I bought it just easier sometimes, but whatever. That's what happened today. If you haven't seen the official haul, it's up on the channel. Let me know if you think it was a fail or not. So, does anybody want to do the statistics formula for me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, last chapter of statistics, and we're, we can use stat disk, so um, we, I don't actually have to do this all by hand, but this is just some of the statistics stuff that I've been doing since August. So, Thank goodness, a week and a half to go. All right. So I've done my statistics homework, and I also did a discussion paper thing for my HR class. But my final thing is for my HR class. So I have to make a presentation. Excuse my dirty screen. I have to make a presentation for tomorrow and actually go up in front of the class and present it about a interview assignment I did with a company and asked them a bunch of questions and I have to present that to the class tomorrow. So I'm making a PowerPoint and I don't know how long that'll take. Um, but that's what I'm doing now. It's the end of the semester and it's like all these big projects all at once. So yeah, it's going to be a really stressful week, but I'm going to go ahead and knock out this right now. All right, so I'm going to attempt to do coupons. I got actually all my schoolwork done, so I'm super proud of myself. But I'm going to clean this binder out. It's the first of the month. I like to clean the binder out every first of the month. And it's actually come out of its prongs, a lot of it. So uh, I need to get that straightened out. Um, but I like to do this every two weeks, but at least once a month is good. Um, since it's December, all of our new coupons... And then, hopefully after that, I'm just going to cut these coupons. So, 
I'll watch something on TV that I would like to watch, and just, it's a good way to pass the time, not too mentally daunting. Alright, so lately on TV Talk, it's been a toss-up between reality shows, um, which I'm kind of amazed to admit the ones I've been watching right now. Um, lately I've been watching Welcome to Plathville, which, has anybody seen that? Because I actually really like it. I didn't think I liked it. When it first showed up, I thought, wow, that's going to be weird. But I really am enjoying Welcome to Plathville. Um, this one's even more embarrassing, Escaping Polygamy. I, I, I don't know why, but it just fascinates me seeing these people, like, fleeing these, like, crazy situations. So I've been enjoying that one. And then Disney Plus is the other one channel or streaming I've been watching. Any of you guys got Disney Plus or like those other shows I just mentioned, let me know in the comments. Do you watch Plathville, Escaping Polygamy, or Disney Plus? With Disney Plus, I'm a tad disappointed with it. I signed up with the intention of them having a few other shows that I really wanted to watch. I think they did a good job, like, early, I don't know, like, if, when I was, because, like, 90s kids, what they would have been watching around, like, the two, early 2000s. Well, when I was born in 2000, I obviously wasn't watching Disney Channel. So, I feel like they don't have the shows on there that I really grew up with. Um, I mean, some of them, but, like, anything beyond, like, 2010, 2011, I don't feel like they put up on Disney Plus, so. It's a little annoying. Like, stuff I watched when I was, like, a preteen or whatever, it's just, like, not there. So, it's really weird. Um, but there are a few good things on there, so. It's been a toss-up between those shows lately. It's, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that's the kind of stuff I watch, but I don't know. Um, and I'm always down for some extreme couponing, but. I'm not feeling it tonight. I, I think I'm going to watch something on Disney+. Plus. Um, so let me know. Um, what do you guys watch? Watching right now. Do you watch any of the shows I just mentioned? If you're watching Disney+, Plus, what are you watching on there? Do you like the Polygamy show? Um, or Plathville? Any of that? Let me know that in the comments. So I think I call this a success. All these are expired coupons I just got rid of. Alright. So I'm going to wrap up tonight's vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't the most interesting of days, but it's real life. I mean, that's kind of what the point of this is. So tomorrow is back to the school, regular school week, last full week of this semester. Yeah. Um, so that's tomorrow. Like I said, I have that big presentation. I have a group project, two group projects to work on tomorrow. So it's going to kind of be an awkward kind of, well, not awkward, but a busy kind of day. And also, I'm going to be moving the stockpile up to a different room, which is going to be so nice. Um, because I'm not going to have to, like, move the halls all over the place. I should just be able to do the hall in the actual stockpile room, and that would just be awesome. Um, I wanted to, it's just, it's going to be great. We're going to try to have it on the main level so I don't go all the way downstairs to put stuff away. It'd just be so great. So, um, yeah, that's what... Hopefully we get done tomorrow. That's all I got for the vlog. Oh, I stopped the camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching.